Man, welcome to Tommy B's channel. Jay's on a boat with me today, doing a little photography. Uh, she's my, my camera woman. And I just wanted to kind of let my, my my fellow anglers know what's going on, what I've noticed. I mean, I noticed just in the last couple outings, really today, I really noticed the, the, we didn't get no pogies, couldn't get the pogies, but the pelicans were diving like crazy and I started casting and uh, it was, a, lot, a, a glass minutes. Oh, I'm missing out. It was glass minutes. And uh, so that that's a good sign. That means the trout are coming in here because the food's here and, it, and the, the trout are like a dog. If the food's here, they follow it. Like, like Joe right here. He loves to follow food. Joe loves food. So uh, we, the treats motivate him. Same thing with his trout. So anyway, what I wanted to tell you, tell y'all, oh man, I had a little bump. I'm in about six feet of water right here, and I pulled up and I couldn't get any live bait, so I, I went with the salt and pepper. All right, what I was saying before, uh, my dog uh, knocked my remote over and almost uh, it turned my trolling motor off. The, the, the remote fell on it. That's one of the things you got to be careful about is that trolling motor remote. You keep it away from everybody. Uh, if you're close to a structure or something, a rock, and that trolling motor, that, that thing's in your pocket and you, and you touch the wrong button and it goes off and you don't notice, you're going to be into the rocks or into the, the structure. So be careful with that remote on that on those uh, spot lock trolling motors. But what I was saying is earlier was the, the I had a 1 8 ounce jig head and I switched to a 3 8 and I slowed it down, let it sink to the bottom, got stuck a couple times, but... I got a heavy, I never fish with a heavy lid like that. I don't usually fish in six, six feet of water with plastic, but today I am, and uh, cause the water's decent. And I'm, I'm catching some nice fish. Let me go show them the box. Nice fish. All solid trout. Oh, I got a bite right there. Oh, it was just dropping. We're over here, babe, over here. I was just dropping. While I was showing y'all the fish, that's crazy. I was just dropping it, and uh, I felt that little poop, that little shock. Hey, nice, nice trout, solid fish. Joe goes crazy, solid fish. So if you first try a method and it don't work, make a little adjustment. You always got to have a, a second. Plan. plan B. Second plan B too. Plan look, look, the water I was I was at another spot by Independence Island trying that. And the water was green, green, green. I said, man, we're gonna catch fish here. I, I didn't get a bite. I so I came to this spot where I'm at now, one of these structures in a bay, and uh, the water's dirty, not chocolate, but it's dirty. I put that salt and pepper on and I got to that bottom and they, they right on the edge of the bottom. And I'm jigging it hard. They want a hard jig. They don't want to swim. They don't. A lot of times, I just throw the swim bait out and retrieve it. Today, they want a hard jig. So you gotta, you gotta try give them on this plastic. Methods. You gotta give them what they want. You gotta try different methods. So uh, that's what's happening. Stay tuned. If we get, uh, I, I lost a big fish a while ago. It popped me. I don't know if it was. It felt like a big trout. So uh, it's looking good for Grand Isle right now. I mean. I'm excited. So, Hit the, the next few days are going to be awesome. On on, uh, I think Monday and Tuesday is supposed to be really pretty. So you can take a vacation day. Uh, the trout are showing up on Grand Isle, and they eat plastic too. So if you can't get live bait, don't just swim that bait. Jig it. I'm jigging it hard. I'm letting it hit the bottom, and I'm jigging it hard, and they slamming it. And don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe to our channel. They're Thank catching that bait on the way down. And when I jig it up and it's falling that foot and too close to the bottom, I'm feeling that little thump and reeling down on them and, and they own. It's uh, it's not every cast, but it's, it's, pretty, almost for you. it's pretty darn good for, for uh, this time of year. Man, I got to give kudos. We, we're finishing up here. We're probably about two and a half, two hours. We got probably... 30, 25, 30. I gotta give kudos again. I couldn't get them pogies, so I, I, I went with that salt and pepper, and Jay was using the uh, hyper minnow. So uh, 
I didn't have no more hopping man. And she had the last one. So I went to the to, to the regular swim shack and it worked just as well. Uh, three eight ounce head because we were in about six feet of water and they liked it just when I cast it by the piling, kind of like the other day and when I was in that bay, let it fall and we got stuck a few times, lost a few baits, but right before it hit the bottom, sometimes just on the fall, they were grabbing it. And then I would lift it, drop it, hard pop it once in a while, slow retreat. We tried it all and everything worked. On, on one point, we had to jig it, but when we come when we came around this side, uh, we didn't have to jig it anymore. We were just slow retrieving it. And Jay had a, a lighter hook on and just almost stopping it. When we'd stop and talk, that's when we get the hit. It was crazy. So we uh, we got some nice ones in there. We got some 12s and 13s in there. Couple 12s and 13s, but most of them is 15, 16. Got a couple hammers like that, like 18. But that's a heck of a, a heck of a box right there. The Grand Isle is uh, on artificial bay. And all on artificial Grand Isle is back. So uh, we'll see you next time.